um, another question here we're going to um, calculate is it chemical is a practical question in chemistry calculation volumetric analysis um, you say that A is a solution containing the trace of a cis acid the solution of the trace of a cis acid containing 4.9 gram of the acid the DMQ or solution solution B was prepared by dissolving 5.3 grams of a carbonate in one DMQ of solution A put A into the burette and titrate with 20 or 25 cm cube of B using material range as, as indicator record the volume of your pipette tablet your burette reading and calculate the average volume of acid use B from your results result and information given calculate the concentration of the trace of a cis acid solution in mole per dmq to the concentration of carbonate solution in mole per dmq 3. relative molecular mass of carbonate and relative atomic mass of x the equation of reaction is already given to us and uh, the the next thing we are going to do here is to um you know get the table by titration so um that's is our so this is our values then the first reading second and third reading our volume of pipettes and everything that's required so the average volume is this so now to solve the problem we will calculate the first question so that calculate the concentration of the trace of a cis acid in more per dmq and what we'll do now is to do that so concentration concentration of the trace of a cis acid in more the dmq what we have there is you know that the mass involved mass of this acid is equal to is equal to 4.9 grams and the molar mass molar molar mass is equal to this and this molar mass how do we calculate it now we know that this what we have there is this this one will give us hydrogen is one plus and then four plus okay, sixteen everything will give us two plus plus 64 that will give us 98 gram per mole so that is how we got that to be like 98 so um the next thing we do here is to calculate the concentration now we know that concentration is always amount amount is mass over what molar mass that will give us mass over what molar molar mass to give us to give us 0 0.05 mole now concentration is always amount over volume our volume here is 1 dmq so our amount is divided by 1 dmq we have 0 0.05 mole per dmq per dmq this is our um, concentration concentration of the acid so we can also keep it here keep it here So we're going to calculate the second one that's concentration of the carbonate in more per dmq. Why since we have a to be 0.5 mole per dmq per dmq volume of a is a 24.6 cmq and our B concentration is what we don't know, that's what we are looking for. Question mark. And then volume is 25 
cm cube in 5 cm cube then our a there is 1 from relationship in this equation b is also 1 so we can substitute we have 5 times 24.6 all over times 25 equal to 1 is to 1 then this one will give us if we cross multiply half 25 25 cb equal to 0 0.05 times 24.6 so cb will then be 25 0 0.05 times 24.6 divided by 25 that will give us that will give us 0 0.09 cm cube now a cm cube is gm cube gm cube more per gm cube or approximately 0 0.05 more uh, gm cube so we've, this one is done the next thing we're going to do here the next question said apply the relative molecular mass of the carbonate and the next one we have here also for the C, B, now the relative molecular mass from the equation we know that we know that um, 0 0.05 mole more per gm cube of the of the carbonate x has five so contains a zero five point three then one more one more will then be that will give us now we have zero one one oh six grams one oh six grams. So this is the relative molecular mass of that relative molecular mass. Actually, because it's relative molecular mass, the the gram might be omitted because most relative relative does not have a um, any units. So um the next one we are asked to calculate here is the relative atomic mass since we have what we need since we have what we need relative atomic mass now we know that um, is equal to 106 and then this other one is 2x plus 2f plus no 316 equal to this one will give us plus 2f and then 2x equal to this is taking time so um when we we'll Come over here again. We have this adding up. We have plus plus sixty equal to one o six. Then two x will be equal to one o six minus sixty. That will give us that will give us two x two x equal to that will give us a uh, six four six. No, since it's four six x will be equal to yeah, I should put it here too. S will then be equal to divide by two. Two will cancel out have to two here. Well, that means S is equal to um twenty-three. Twenty-three. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hope you enjoyed the the video and then I would like to read your comments, share and then um subscribe. Thank you so much.